This is the little gas forge that I'm making for myself. You can see that the gas bottle has had the ends cut off it and that was uh, because when I got the gas bottle from the scrapyard it was the only one they had there and someone had cut the top off it. But they had a whole lot of laser cut discs that were uh, about 10 and 3 quarter inches and they were perfect fit for the piece that had been cut off the top so I cut off the bottom as well just to give myself two flat faces to work from and went from there. So the first thing we did after getting those welded on was to uh, cut myself a, a door in the front and uh, just by cutting it three sides and cutting most of the way um, along there leaving just a small tag at each end I was able to bend it over and, and get myself a little platform for when the insulation and fire brick and so forth goes in and um, the legs are just a piece of inch by eight strap the handle on the top is um, about, well, it's a piece I cut out of some um, inch by 316, so it's just a little bit heavier. And these tubes here are going to have a rod in here with a bar across it so that you can, um, if you need to bring it uh, a rest out, you know, 8, 10 inches if you're doing something heavier in there that um, you've got a uh, rest to put the back end of your work on. So at this stage what we need to be doing is getting the insulation here which is uh, due any day now and then these are these rods these tubes are just uh, wired to this um, this uh, bolt that's holding the feet on at the moment but it will eventually be welded into them and that's just an expedient matter in the in the meantime so the back's been cut off and it's just sitting it's just sitting on there just to uh, uh, give you a, a look at the, at the full thing. And we've got a little, little door in the back that'll uh, give it some, uh, some breathing space. And hopefully I can get back to you soon with a um, completed picture and a uh, look at it running.